हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कूपर एजुकेट टू इम्पावर्स ग्रेजुनी ऑनलाइन कोर्स लेसन ट्वेल्व इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अ वेरी इजी गेम द फ्लोटिंग डग्स गेम लेट्स लुक इनटू द प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट सो दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट इन विच अ बॉय सीज द ducks and then the ducks start floating and then he say that they are floating so it's a very short and sweet game let's look into the project now we will start by deleting the sprite that comes with the new project let's add the sprites for this project so basically we need ducks so i will add purple duck then i will add another duck the red duck and then the last and the third duck the yellow one now uh, you can just see one duck because it came one above the another so just uh, align it in one line let's add the background now we'll go to the background icon we have to find the beach day background so i'll choose the beach day background you can choose any other background as well so the background is added now we have to add a boy so let's click on the plus sign on the left and add the boy sprite you can add any any boy from here let's add this boy place the boy where you want it to be let's do the coding now uh we'll start uh with the purple duck you can start um with any duck um i'm just starting with the purple duck here so first of all with the purple blocks you can use the grow and shrink block to make the size of the duck as you want it let me show you that if i use a shrink block and i click on it the size of the duck decreases so i want to reduce the size of the duck so that is why i'm using the shrink block similarly i'll use the shrink block for the red duck and i'll press on it and it will reduce the size of the duck you can also drag this block to put it in the yellow duck as well so it will automatically get added there let's see so it's already there now click on the block and the size of the duck will also reduce uh let's start with the coding of purple duck now so what we want is that when the green flag is clicked the boy should say that um look there are some ducks and then there should be some wait time and then he should say that look they're floating so maybe it's good to start with the boy coding so um we'll use the start block which is the green flag so whenever you click the green flag the boy should say something so we'll use the purple block and the say block so you can choose to uh, add some another message other message to this i am adding here look there are ducks and then uh, i'm adding some wait time so we will go into the wait orange wait block choose that block maybe add 3 uh, seconds wait time and then another message block where you say that they are floating oops floating okay so um, this is all we want for the boy um, let's go to the duck now so with the duck's behavior we want um, the duck to start floating after the boy finishes his line that look there are ducks so when green flag is clicked first of all we want the duck to wait for the boy to finish his sentence so we'll use a wait block and we'll add some timer here uh let's add maybe 15 seconds or maybe more because we want to read we want to read the text as well so we'll add 20 seconds then we want the duck to move forward one by one one step at a time and then reach this screen here 
so you can use the grid system to see that it's at 3 and we want it to go to 20 or 19 so basically if you subtract that it would be 19 minus 3 so 16 steps so we want the duck to take 16 steps uh, let's use uh, the forward block which is one step at a time we don't want it to run we want it to take one step at a time so instead of putting it 16 times uh, we will use the loop block repeat which is a repeat and which we will put the repeat block on top of one and as you can see again from the grid system from 3 to 19 we want it to go 16 steps so we want it to repeat for 16 times so we want the duck to take 16 steps one at a time so it will repeat this blue block inside it then uh, we want the um, duck to disappear so this is a hide block we'll put it at the end so now uh, i'll show you what it looks like the boy says look there are ducks i'll remove this and they are floating so you can see the purple duck went to the end of the screen and then it disappeared but we also want the purple duck to reappear when we click green flag again so either there's one thing you can click here or the other is you can to ensure that it does come you can use the green flag and then the purple blocks uh, oh sorry um, blue blocks and then we'll use go home so basically it will go to the same place where it was um, and uh, you can also because we want the green um, sorry the yellow and the red duck also to reappear when the green flag is clicked so we can move these blocks in the red and the yellow duck as well so this is a simple way of coding uh, we also want the red and yellow duck to follow the same scenario like one step at a time and for 16 times because all the ducks are at 3 and we want all the ducks to disappear when they reach 19. So all of them have to take 16 steps. So what I'll do is I will copy this blocks or coding in red one and then in the yellow duck as well. Now when i showed you the project in the beginning the yellow duck the red duck the middle duck was the quickest one whereas purple and yellow they started after some time so the wait time for red if the wait time for red is 20 and we want yellow to start a little later the wait time of that duck should be more than 20 and same for purple as well so let's keep the wait time for yellow as 20 or uh, to make it more visible 24 and for the purple duck as 25 so you will see that they'll start a little late let's look into this look there are ducks the red duck it started before the yellow and purple and all of them disappeared so when you click on green flag again and they come back to their starting position so this was a very simple project. I hope you have enjoyed this. The main purpose of it was to teach you about the grid system here and how you can use the repeat block. So this other thing I wanted to teach you with this video, you can see here in the repeat block, it's one step 16 times. So you can also keep this in the multiple of um, like you want you can keep this um, such that it multiplies and it gives you 16 so 1 into 16 is 16 similarly 2 into 8 is also 16 so you can also do it in this way I'll show you how this works so you can see the purple block uh, duck sorry it still went there and disappeared so this has to be a multiple of 16 Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this.